Hello, everyone. Hello, dear ladies. Hello, dear friends. Um, we are, I'm just so happy to have you on the call, and we are celebrating Women's Day, which was yesterday, but in actual fact, Women's Day is every day of every month, and we are just going to celebrate with some wonderful women today. And I just want to say hi to you all. Um, let me introduce myself. I am Nola McDermott, and I have a couple of dear colleagues and friends who are going to be with me on this Zoom to tell their story. And I believe we get empowered by people's stories. Everyone has a story, and everyone's story has impact and is important. Every story matters. It's not about the story, but it's about the possibilities. It can also happen for me or also happen for you. And that's what we, 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 we can, we women can dream. And, you know, I just look back on my adult life and realize it's been inspired by people and lifestyles that we've created together. I know you have hopes. Every woman has hopes. Every woman has dreams. And I know we in near life have some solutions. And there's no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. Um, the dynamic changes that have taken place over the last 18 months have altered the landscape of everyone's lives. And the role of the woman has been revolutionized with many, many more challenges. But there have also been a lot of opportunities for us. Um, women have strengths and abilities to empower others and can change the dynamics of their family's future. The dynamics of, just to mention a few, maybe health thoughts, healthy thoughts, um, healthy foods, a mindset that serves them, caring for others, what you hand out comes back, to name just a few. And the dynamics that changed for us, being part of near, near life, are, are numerous. I learned so I learned so much about healthy eating. Um, I learned so much about intentionally staying well. I learned so much about safe cleaning products and how good they are to have in the home. I learned a lot. Um, can you imagine building a successful business from home, locally and internationally? Can you imagine choosing how you want to work, your hours, fitting it in with the family things and being your own boss? It's awesome. And there's no question of doubt that women are seriously built to care and uplift women, uh, uplift other people and, and other women. We just need a community that encourages us and an opportunity that is genuine. And that's what we've got right here. And, um, you know, for me, the near life opportunity was revolutionary because it was, it was, it was a family business that we wanted. We wanted our own business. Um, it was a business that had no financial risk. And I'll tell you why later, that was very important to us. Um, it had huge possibilities. Uh, the support from a large international company who had integrity, who cared for its distributors, and really, for the first time in my life, I could truly see my dreams coming true. Every woman has her special dreams of a life she sees for her family. And you know what, that ex that, what excites you. You know, I discovered my true riches in life through this near life community. And some of them, just, just very briefly, I mean, physical well-being and total health of the family. That is a rich blessing. And 47 years later, this is so evident. It's our responsibility as women to keep our family well and point them in the right direction to maintain optimum health. But we've got to be aware of what's available and what is right. And then there's the financial discipline to live a life free from financial stress and strife. That's what we aim to do. And spiritual growth, this gives such stability. It gives me confidence and faith for the future. And, you know, 
we women are strong, but I understand we have fears. And sometimes we don't think we're worthy, but you are worthy of becoming more than you ever imagined. Um, unity in what we are doing gives us courage to move forward. And that is what I learned in the early days and years thereafter. But I want to talk to you now about the day that turned my life around. And maybe for some of you and the guests on the call, maybe this could be the day that turns your life around. And it only takes a decision for that to happen. So 47 years ago, Rory and I had our own business. Um, we've always been ambitious. Um, we gave up the corporate world because we didn't like the corporate world. Um, working hard, we worked really hard um, in our own business, but with the risk of business as people who own their own business, it's a big risk financially. And we were always chasing payments, but never ever losing hope for the future. And um, guess what? You know, I mean, it was just a, a crazy time in our lives. We through very political, uh, very tough political times and a downturn in the economy. And we didn't have a business anymore. I had a six week old baby. Um, and like any young couple, we had a car that the bank owned, we had a house that the bank owned, and now we had business debt that was far in excess of our personal debt. Um, but through this business that we, we had, we met the most incredible couple, Mr. and Mrs. Painter, who were living a great lifestyle and were extremely successful. And this was so evident in, in the cars they drove, the homes they lived, the lifestyle they had, it was, it was quite uh, uh, encouraging. And they asked us, how would you like to make big money? Because we've just discovered a wonderful business opportunity. And we looked at that each other and thought, if they are looking at a business opportunity, we definitely need to look. And that's how we were introduced to Neolife. It was just that simple. Um, and I do believe that God's timing is always perfect. And so began a new chapter in our life. Um, it was a very exciting chapter. It was a very scary chapter. We'd never done anything like this before. And, you know, doubt crept in. But, you know, in this near life journey, we grew. We cried. We were frustrated. We were encouraged. Our mindset changed and we thrived. Um, we traveled the world. The first journey was to Disney World in the USA when the children were about around 10 years old. And that was such a celebration after the years of struggling to get back on our feet, pay off that business debt, which we did. Um, it was just the greatest celebration ever. And we still talk about it to this day. Um, I can sum up my years in our own business of near life as an enviable lifestyle of being a stay-at-home mother, of having unbelievable travel adventures as a family. We had homes, cars, you know, all the things that are fun to have. And, but the biggest, biggest, wonderful thing was the flexibility of time. And that stands out more than everything together with our relationships we've built over the, celebra uh, the celebrations of our team successes and the travels we've had together with the team, the team. And that has been such a blessing to us and so actually very, very important. Um, during your life, you'll have many people who give you these, this incredible advice. And I must say, we had many people giving us advice, which they thought was really good advice. Things like, you won't make it. You're just not cut out for this business. It's not a real business. We've never heard of it. Go and get a proper job. That sort of advice you don't need, but it puts you, it, 
it it makes you wobbly. It made me wobbly, even though I knew I couldn't have any of those, you know, it just wasn't acceptable. In fact, go and get a proper job. We couldn't afford a proper job because we were paying off not only our own personal debt, we were paying off business debt. No salary could have helped us do that. We did it through Neola. And what I'm saying to us as women on the call, and if there are any men, you fit into this as well. How many times do we allow others attempt to write our end story? For example, you'll never make it. You know, um, those people were never going to pay our debt. They were never going to pay our bond. They were never going to buy a travel ticket for us. They were never going to educate our children. So you just got to walk away and know that you're on the right track. We have the strength to do that. You all know that. And so, you know, to hope that things could get better. That hope was able to change our perspective towards life. And our little wins became our big breakthroughs. Um, and that encouraged us to keep going. You know, ladies, you know that hope gives us a really tough mindset. And that's what we were hanging on to in those days. But I must say, being stubborn and being ambitious is a very great asset. We were determined to prove our critics wrong. Our neo life community grew to be our lifeline towards the, po the possibilities of success. We had an income, but we weren't what we out of the woods, but it uplifted us when we were at the lowest ebb of our hopelessness. And just having that community working together, um, that hopelessness was, was lifted and it was exciting. And really along our journey, we know that there's nothing more that motivates us to see people go all in to an opportunity of health and wealth as neo-lifers. You know, all in, I mean, we all have busy days. We all have busy jobs or busy housewifing or busy mommies or whatever. But all in means that we're all in mentally. Um, we're all in using the products. We're all in with focus. There are no gray areas. That's what I mean by all in. And we can still work near life part time, but you've got to be all in. You've got to be focused and pointed in a direction. And that's how we convert our dreams into reality. Um, my two children have been my greatest inspiration to just do it. There were a lot of times where they didn't see a lot of me, but they were always well cared for. Um, now I have four grandchildren and um, the, the latest grandchild is nine months old and was born to my daughter when she turned 44. So it was a very late pregnancy, one that she'd worked, <laughs> she'd waited 20 years for this baby and she had to do what she had to do but but as she says um, she started on a base of good health through the nutrition and she took all our products the proteins the omegas the vitamin b's the multivitamins the phytonutrients for immunity throughout her pregnancy she had the most wonderful pregnancy and at 43 as she was then you know, she had no high blood pressure, she had no edema, she had no morning sickness, she had no swelling or bloatedness as so many pregnant ladies get. Her baby was born and there's been not a, 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 a moment of worry or ill health or anything and he's happy, he eats like a little horse and, and so, you know, I just look at this simple way of life that has given us such blessings and you know 
what we're going to do now is hear from other friends who have had turnarounds in their life. And I'm just so, <coughs> excuse me, grateful to them for coming onto this call to uplift women. We're here to uplift each other. And I'm going to call on a, a very dear distributor and friend who used to be a maths teacher. Can you imagine anybody so <laughs> choosing such an awful <laughs> career? For me, it would have been the absolute worst. Um, and but, but what has turned her life around? It's just fantastic. And for that, I'd like to ask, um, where's Andre, uh, uh, Antoinette? There she is, right here. Thank you, Antoinette. You go for it. Thank you for being on this call. You're an amazing example to us all of just how tenacity can build and get you to where you want to go. So let's hear your story. Thank you, Ant. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to chat to you. As, as women, as valued women, um, we're all walking a road with God and what he brings over our path, the blessings. It's what I'm thankful for this morning. Yes, I started out my life as a math teacher and then decided to be a stay-at-home mom. And shortly thereafter found myself as the breadwinner, having to care for my two little children. And I couldn't go back teaching um, because they wouldn't pay what I needed. I got involved in direct sales um, and the stress levels eventually just got the best of me. I was not earning what I needed and I was top in the company and I didn't know what to do anymore. The stress levels caused stomach ulcers, and all I wanted is for the pain to go away. That is how I found near life. I thought something natural must be able to help me. And, and it did. In two days, the pain went and I felt different. And then I said to, to Nola, well, if this can help with stomach ulcers, I've got a couple of other issues to address. Heart flashes, very low energy, Although I was a very healthy eater, I had very low immunity, obviously because of the stress levels, and then I couldn't lose weight. So within a month, I addressed all those things and I was an energized bunny that could lose weight and, and, and hot flashes disappeared and I just knew these products worked. At that stage, all I wanted is for everybody I knew to have these products, they worked and everybody needed them. So I started sharing this with everybody. Some people needed money. I, I didn't even consider the business at that stage. All I wanted is I wanted people to feel better. And then I got a check from your life. It was a, an amount of 98 Rand, but I had no idea where it came from. And I realized if I can earn 98 Rand, I could earn a lot more. At that stage, I did the most unlogical thing that you could do, but I knew I was doing the right thing. I joined New Life. As a math teacher, you don't necessarily have, a, have, have the best background about health, but um, you can put one and one together. It was like God called me into this. I knew I had to do this. And that's when my journey started, my life started. I had to decide. I believed in the products and I was going to do this and make a difference to a lot of people out there. Today, I'm living a dream. Two years ago, I moved to the home where what you can see behind me is the view. And down there, the, the white building that you see down there is where my holiday home is. It's not everybody that can say they can walk on holiday. So the beach where I used to spend my holidays is now the beach where I walk every day. And the biggest, the biggest thing that I gained 
is freedom. What does freedom mean to you? It means I, I, I'm free to earn what I want. I'm free to live a healthy life. I'm free. I've got free movement. I don't have to ask a boss for a day off. Completely free to travel whenever I want to. When lockdown struck, we flourished. I could sit in my chair and life went on and, and business boomed. Today I've got an international business that I run from my home, from a holiday home or from my home. <laughs> Health, it's about five years ago that, that um, cholesterol was an issue. And just before Christmas, I told the medical profession, I'll see them in January. I had them wide eyed at the beginning of that January when my cholesterol dropped from 6.4 to 3.5. And ever since it's been under five, just maintained because the products work. Also, if I look at, at what we've got in the range, if your Queen's Park, new Queen's Park pants gets a, a big blob of paint on, what would you do? I know that Super 10 will remove it. And if Super 10 doesn't remove something, you are not going to remove it with any chemicals. So my home is completely chemical free and it works like a dream. Then skincare, we've just launched Nutrients, a marine organic skincare range. And if you're on the wrong side of 60, the, the age um, can become a problem. But when your friends start giving you compliments, because the products work and, and what's built into the products actually stimulates the production of collagen in your skin. That is youth renewing. So that's also bringing brought a dramatic change. So to, today I'm living free. I'm living a dream. I'm living new life and making a difference, I hope, to lots of people out there that need what I've got and that's making the difference to me. I hope God leads you on a path where that will be your testimony as well. Lovely speaking to you. I want to introduce a friend of mine, is that right, Nola? That right in the beginning of my new life journey, when I realized that this was working, I did start thinking, who needs what I've got? And a friend came to mind. At that stage, her kids were still at school, but she was working overseas, leaving the family behind to, to make them enough money to, to get them to university. And I immediately thought of Viv, and I thought, Viv, when you get back, I've surely got something to show you. And she just landed in South Africa. And I called her and I said, I've got something that we're going to do. And she went out talking to people and she came back to me and said to me, I, I can't do this business. Everybody I talk to knows the products and they're already using it. And I said to her, that's why you can do the products. There's lots of fish in the sea. So go and build a business. I want to um, invite Viv to tell her story. Thanks, Viv. Thank you, Antoinette, for that lovely welcome. Can you all hear me? I'm on my cell. I can see you saying yes, good. My, my laptop refused to operate, cooperate. So yes, Antoinette invited me to have a look at this business. And the first, first of all, um, having been overseas and I arrived home, I what didn't quite look immediately for a business. But one day my husband came to me, or more or less at the same time, and he said to me, Viv, you need to go back to work. I'd taken a little bit of a sabbatical. I'm not talking about going overseas for three months to work as a carer. But he said, you know, you'll have to bring some money in. Now at age 50, there are not many um, 
income generating jobs that you can do that don't which don't need a lot of uh, risk, you know, uh, like a shop owner or something like that. But not only that, what about studying? Um, you know, to become, for, I can't become an accountant all of a sudden or a lawyer, it's going to take too long. Because one of the words he did say to me is, you need to earn some money pretty damn quickly. We were in a little bit of a pickle, a financial pickle due to some family issues. And that's when Antoinette came around and spoke about the job opportunity, this business opportunity. And yeah, you know, I went to a meeting and I said, I'm going to do this. And I also got her enthusiasm. The thing that I really uh, cherished about Antoinette is that she didn't let go of me. And she helped me in a process. So I did go out to 11 people, I remember, and I can remember throwing down my bag and saying, I can't do this because everybody's in it. And you know what? Go out and visit the next 11 people, right? But one of them, a, a very, I, I just remember Nola talking about how, how stressful it is when, when people pull you down or say things like, you know, get a proper job. I can remember taking my kit in those days. It wasn't a kit like we have today. My, my uh, little bag and I rushed to a friend, not because I wanted to recruit them, but because I was so excited that I had my own business. And I went to share with him. And I can remember the husband looked at me and he said, oh, oh Viv, I'm so sorry. You have been scammed. This is not going to work. And I got into the car to go home and I cried all the way home. But I knew, I remember looking in the mirror and I said, I'm going to show you. And I did. And ever since then, with, with um, I just so appreciate the fact that you have support in Neolife. They say, you know, it's, you're on your, it's your own business, but you're not alone. And that's true. We have the most incredible backup system. So I had a... Um, I have some health. I had some health issues, just like Antoinette, and just like many other people. And one of the things was a woman's problem, where uh, being perimenopausal, I was at the end of my my um, cycle, you know, production cycle, reproduction cycle, whatever you call it. And um, Antoinette suggested that I take one product, and I'm sure you can guess which one it might be for those of you who are in Neolife, and that's, yes, it's a product called TreeNN. Why? Well, because it fixes cells, and, you know, after two and a half months of taking this product, I completely, my life literally changed from being really a difficult one in times of my cycle and doctors telling me that I would have to have a 15,000 Rand operation, which would have a 75% success rate, which wasn't going to work for me. And here I was after two and a half months. And, you know, I've just never, ever looked back. And as we go along, 10 years ago, my husband had a, 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 a near, well, I would say a near death experience. And just, I'm so grateful that having learned a little bit of, picked up some knowledge because that's what we do. We help each other with um, inspiration. There's so much to, to um, you know, there's so much information that we have in Neolife. And we, we can learn the important things that we have to do, make lifestyle changes. And in those lifestyle changes, my husband was rescued in two months. Now, I've told this story before, and I'm not going to go into the detail. But, you know, he had an enlarged heart. It was really enlarged. And the, the cardiologist said, Pat, don't worry. We've got a solution for you. We've got a heart transplant in the future. And... I don't know if I heard that or if I remembered that, but I all I knew was that these products I I trusted with my life, especially carotenoids and amigas, plus a hundred others, but those two I have the most deep respect for. And you know, I'll never forget two months after hearing about this transplant, the fact that he could maybe have a transplant that would help him. He went back, to, we went back to the cardiologist together, and guess what? Yes, that heart that was so enlarged went back 
to its normal size in two months. Well, that was a defi another defining moment in my life. And since then, there have been so many others. And just like Nola and Antoinette and so many other people on this call and hopefully those who are guests for you as well, the, the, it's the legacy that we are able to leave to, of health to our families, of health to our friends, of financial well-being. What has my income meant to me? Well, one day I remember listening to Rory, and that's Nola's husband, and Rory said to me that if you're um, going to earn an income of, I think it's 10,000 rand a month, you need 2 million rand in, in the bank. Uh, if you want 20,000, I presume it's more millions. Well, you know, the sky's the limit. 50,000, 100,000, what is it that you want to earn? Because this business brings it. It's up to you. The thing that you need is, as I heard Nola so very, very strongly say, is that we have to be intentional. We can do it part time. But we need to be intentional about what we're doing because when you're in business on your own, there needs to be some discipline. And I found that uh, this has been the most incredible thing. Here I, I'm on the, as Antoinette calls it, the, uh, the other side of 60s. And I, um, I'm so grateful that here I sit where many women would be saying, oh, I need to retire. I don't have to. I can build, I can meet people, I can link people to some good choices and show them a way where, where they had financial uh, stress because those stresses are real. And I see that at age, at age 65, the insurance companies tell us, you know, you, there are two types of people. You're absolutely right. Those who are financially secure and those who aren't. And I see it all around me. So many people at age at my age who are looking and saying, mm, we have to cut back. Let's not fall into that category because you might be young now. And now is the time to start to build so that you leave that legacy to your family. You lead people in your business. And this wonderful network marketing industry is not a scam. It is something that has brings hope, it brings stability, and it brings that flexibility that you've heard these ladies talk about. For me too, I've traveled, I've worked my business in Alaska, I've worked my business in Barcelona, I've worked my business on a ship cruising the ocean, and I just find that the most amazing thing. It's been life-changing. I know that I continue to be a part of this beautiful organization. I am so grateful and thankful for the things that it's given me and for the things that I can share with others. I know that I add value to other people and to their lives simply because Neolife does that for me. And all I'm doing is referring it to others. So to all you lovely women, it's really something that is giving power, empowering women to help them in their families. They are decision makers. And if you look at the stats of what business owners are doing now, a lot of them are in this type of industry. We've got a lot to offer. So thank you for listening to me. And Antoinette, thank you from the bottom of my heart for introducing me to Neo Life. God bless. Over to you, Nola, or, 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 or do I introduce Andre? You muted, Nola. Um, there we are. Um, Viv, thank you. Antoinette, thank you. Um, just fabulous. Um, I love hearing the testimonies. And, you know, we're living with purpose. So there's no such thing as retiring because we have purpose and we're having a fun. But I want you on the call, I want you to think of something. These two ladies, um, as they said, there's no force more powerful than women determined to rise. I think you've just met two. Is that right? You know, they say, uh, the saying goes, she flies with the strength of her own wings. And I think the two ladies you just, Antoinette and Viv, they fly with the strength of their own wings and God's help. And there's nothing more powerful than a woman who is determined to rise. And so uh, I'm excited because we have another 
very special woman. In fact, everybody has a story to tell. I look at who's online, I think, oh, 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 I think we're going to get everybody's story over the next number of, of weeks and months because every story matters, you know, and um, for the young people on the call, you might say, hey, listen, those ladies are old. They're talking about over 60. <laughs> I wish I was, but um, what we're saying is, we started young and we're leaving legacies in families. We're seeing families change their lives. We're here to encourage uh, families, young ladies, to just take it and run with it because we know it's right. As I've been in this for over four decades and there's nothing more that I can prove that it works. It does work. So we're going to hear another and very, very incredible story. And I want to call up my friend. Um, her name is Dr. Andre van der Hoeven. Her married name is Comrie. She is a doctor of immunology and biochemistry. Uh, she is a scientist. And you know what? She's a woman with a story. And I invite her onto this call. Andre, please join us. Thank you. Thanks, Nola. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And thanks, um, Viv and Antoinette, for your stories. Um, everyone's story inspires me, always. And um, so I hope that I can leave you with a little bit of inspiration, too. My entry into NeoLife was um, slightly different from the ones you've heard. And um, in a sense, you might say I was brought into it kicking and screaming, I guess because um, a long time ago, 30 years ago, when I was indeed a young woman, I was faced with a late stage cancer diagnosis. My children were eight and five years old and looking at the pictures on the screen, I guess there's some people who are, really, or who are currently in that situation, young children. And I was faced with what was effectively a death sentence. And so I needed something to happen I went through the whole medical um, catastrophe, I suppose it is. I had a major surgery. I had over a year's worth of chemotherapy, which they said was the strongest they would, could possibly give, and they hoped that I would survive it. And then I had radiation. And so um, that was going on. But effectively, I pushed that into the background because, I, as Nola said, I have a, a training in biochemistry and immunology. And I knew that a body that was well equipped with the tools that it needs is in fact a self-healing mechanism. And so what are the tools it needs? Well, it's the nutrients that it has. Those are the tools the body uses. And what I also knew was that there was no way that I was in a situation where I could improve our diets because I was already quite... Um, pedantic about them. I knew about a good balanced diet. I'd been raised that way. I'd been educated into believing that. And I was doing the best I knew how. And there was nothing more that I could fit into my life to change that. And so I was forced then to face the idea of finding supplements that would support me in my journey to health. And so that's what I started looking for. And I wanted to focus my attention on my health um, through supporting it um, and kind of pull a curtain between me and the doctors while they dealt with my arm and, and what have you and did, did their tricks um, there because I actually had a look when they were injecting something into me and I thought, gosh, that looks familiar. I went home to my textbooks and I was correct. It was familiar because I had used that stuff in a laboratory situation in order to kill cells. Um, and I had looked down the microscope and seen these cells dying as they were administered these drugs that were being pumped into my arm. And that is not something you want to dwell on when they're doing that um, on a regular basis for over a year. So as I say, I went on a hunt for supplements that I felt I could believe in. And there were many people presenting me with many ideas. And there were three boxes, many boxes, but three in particular that I wanted to tick. 
And one was that the supplements I was going to take had to be fully researched. They had to be backed by science. Any scientist will tell you that that's what they need. You know, they're not going to entrust their lives or anything else to something that science doesn't support. And the second thing that I needed was that they had to come from whole foods. I was not in the market for yet more synthetic stuff being taken into my body. I was being pumped um, full of it and I didn't want any more. So it had to come from whole foods. And the third thing that I needed was that it needed to have a long history of use with lots of stories, actually, testimonials. I needed to know that there were real people who'd used these products with real success that I could somehow hang on to in my belief that they would work for me too. And so I was extremely, I am extremely grateful that someone crossed my path to tell me about them. And I just want to diverge slightly there. And that is to say that everybody who is already a distributor on this call and people who are looking to maybe become distributors, you are all extremely important to the people you talk to. Because if Erica had not spoken to me and nobody else had, I would never have discovered these products at the time that I needed them. And I actually doubt that I'd be here to tell the tale. So we have got something in our possession that we must share. What people do with the information is their choice, um, always must be and always will be. But if we don't tell them that there is another way, then we are doing them a disservice. And that is something that um, I remind myself every day of. And that is why people like Nola and me, who are on the right side of, not the wrong side, Antoinette, it's the right side, but we're on the right side of 70, are we not, Nola? And, <laughs> and we will keep on doing this because it's an important message. And when I needed the message, I was 30 years younger. So I, would, I was a young woman then. Um, and in those days, a, a cancer diagnosis at the, at the age of around 40 was unusual. Now it's much more common. But I was a young woman and people were surprised that I had received that diagnosis. So we will continue to share that story. The rest of that particular story is history, obviously, because I started taking the products. I have no doubt that my um, health is as a direct result of having taken them. And one of the reasons I believe that is that two of the women who were being treated at the same time as I was um, never made the five-year mark. And they were considered in terms of the medical profession as a success, success because they consider two years post-diagnosis um, as a successful treatment. Well, that was not long enough for me. I now have grown adult children who are independent of me and, um, and I'm still around and I still hope to be around four years into the future. I then built other stories because my husband was in an extremely stressful situation. In fact, we were really concerned that he might have a heart attack and depart from this planet. Um, it was a merger of three organizations um, and three different um, cultural ethoses. Um, and it was very difficult to bring them all together under one roof. And he was extremely stressed. And so I begged him to take one of the products was the daily vitality pack, in fact. And he was a bit reluctant to do so, but you know, you do what your wife tells you sometimes. And after a month, he said he needed a repeat box. So that was interesting to me. But was, what was more interesting was that his colleagues approached him and said, what on earth is it that you're doing differently because you're managing much better? So other people were noticing the difference. And that made me sit up and take notice. And then my kids, these beloved eight and five-year-olds of mine, were the ENT specialist's dream. We spent more time at the doctors than anywhere else, it seemed. They got everything with ear, ears, nose, and throat that you could imagine. In fact, the younger one had grommets five times before we discovered this. And his hearing has been permanently damaged. 
physically damaged as a result. So, um, so I gave them the kids nutrition and it was like magic. It, the ailments disappeared. And one of the stories I like to tell about my eldest son was that he asked his dad to take him to the shop to buy sweets, which was very unusual because I told you we were a bit anal about what we brought into the house. And his father asked him why. And he said, well, Dr. Munro has made me better. So I would like to take him sweets to thank him because he always used to give me a sweet when I went to see him. And so this child realized that things had changed and that he was now better. So do I believe the pro did I then believe the products worked? Absolutely. Now, as far as the business goes, I fiddled and I faddled, and I wasn't a business person, and I was, I was, um, you know, I was an academic and, and so on and so forth. But I was um, also taking time off to raise my kids for a while, and then this cancer hit. And I wanted pocket money because I hated asking my husband for money when I wanted just to do something with some money, you know. Um, and I wasn't a naughty girl about spending money, but I wanted not to have to get permission to do so. And so I was watching what other women were doing in the same situation as I was, and they were doing things like sewing waistcoats and selling them at the flea market and so on. And I thought, Lord, please preserve me. If I had to earn my life, a living selling, sewing and selling waistcoats, we'd starve to death because I sewed a waistcoat or two, and then I was over waistcoats forever, and so on. So um, I came across someone, I was already part of this business, sort of unwittingly, and then I came across someone, it happened to be Bonnie, um, who was putting flyers in car, on car windscreens, and I didn't know who she was, and I picked up this, this flyer, and it said, earn money from home, and I got out of, I, I went and spoke to her. She was dressed, if I remember correctly, she was in a suit, high heels, stockings. She's blonde and beautiful. She was looking gorgeous. And here she was putting these flyers in the car. So I went and spoke to her and um, she said, well, you'll have to come and see me um, make an appointment, which I did. And I walked into her office and there was Neolife sitting in front of my nose. And I realized that in fact, she was making a business out of this thing that I was fiddling with. And that's when I started taking it more seriously. Um, a few things I want to add to what the other ladies have said. They've said, they've covered it all really. Um, but one of the things that has been so wonderful for me is, the, is actually the personal development because, because it is challenging. And I say that I've been more challenged by this little journey than by even doing a PhD, because for those, those things I knew I could do, they came relatively easily. It was hard work, but it was not, um, there was never any doubt in my mind that I would make a success of that. Whereas um, the, the vagaries of business, I, I do have doubts about my capacity to do it. Um, and so this is where the, the family, the Neola family, um, but the Vision family in particular um, is so supportive because we all have doubts I've learned. And when I'm feeling a bit low and, and wobbly, other people are there to show me up and vice versa. And so it's extremely important to have a, a community of people who are doing the same thing, pulling in the same direction, and genuinely supporting each other to success, even when there isn't a direct benefit. You know, if you're not in the same team even, you still support each other into success because that's what we want for each other. And the, the emphasis on personal development and dealing with doubts and, and improving your skills, um, both um, practical skills and emotional and mental skills, is invaluable because it spills over into real life, of course. Well, this is real life, but you mean the other, other parts of your life. It becomes um, your lifestyle to be positive about things, to be hopeful about things, to look for value in 
in yourself, to look for value in other people, to support the good in yourself and in others, and to grow forwards in a healthy and productive and hopeful and blessed way. So that is extremely valuable. And here, um, now speaking as a person, can you believe it? We've moved into a retirement village even. I mean, talk about old. So here we are in a retirement village. And I'm watching with great interest how people live in a retirement village and how many people are losing their physical capacity faster than they need to. Um, and, and wondering how I can actually have the conversation with them, because um, I know that some people will just jolly well go in their like Nola boots and all, and I'm not a boots and all kind of person in terms of talking to people. So Nola, you'll be pleased to know that I've got eight customers in the village, which, which is slowly growing. But, but, you know, there are people here who need, who need what we've got. And what they really need is someone who has got a bounce in her step and who feels empowered and wakes up to do something that she loves and they all are starting to wonder what is this person doing? You know, what? And, they, and they're starting to ask me because we are, we model what we want to share. And people see something in us that they might want to know more about. And in closing, I want to remind you, I mean, tell you a little story I've never told. It's it's a naughty story, but it's about my grandmother who was very old at the time, she, had, she was already 90, and she lived in an old age home. But she was very fit and strong, and she used to love going out. This was in Pretoria. And so she'd ask people if they needed anything, and she'd traipse off to the shops in the days when a 90-year-old was still safe to do so. And she'd go to the shops, and she'd do the shopping for everybody else, and she'd come back. But this old age home was run by the Dutch Reformed Church. And many of the women there were Duomini's wives. And they would sit like a, 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 a they'd sit in straight rows at the entrance. And she would come, she'd have to walk through these, this, these people. And they wondered what on earth she was doing, you know. And so one day they asked her, where is it you go every day? And my grandmother, who had this really naughty streak, said, oh, didn't you know I go to ply my trade, implying that she was actually uh, uh, selling herself um, to earn some money. And um, they never asked her again, but she, <laughs> she enjoyed that little joke. But that's what I'm doing. I'm plying my trade with um, the people around me, but especially I like working with the young people. It's the young people that we want to empower because the one regret, if I have any, is that I didn't start sooner and knuckle down earlier. Um, and if I can leave that message with people, start as soon as you can, because if you start young enough, you will have a, an amazing legacy for your children and their, their children. Um, to follow. So thanks everybody for being here. I hope you join us on this journey if you aren't already with us. And um, it's an adventure worth having. And thank you, Nola, for all your support directly because Nola is my upline, but to all the people around, including Antoinette and Viv, because they were the speakers, for your support in my journey. Um, I love you all. You are enormously valuable to me. And I hope we meet some more of you in our Neolife family, Vision family. Thank you, Andre. Thank you very much indeed for your story. And for, you know, uh, all I can say, you're a woman of strength. You're a woman of courage, of dignity, and you're breaking barriers. And I know in the medical scientific world that you've been part of and that you were teaching and you were breaking barriers. And that will touch the young people, which we try to do. 
because um, I, I just think thank you very much, everybody. It's just, it's just wonderful to have had you on call. And, you know, if I, in closing, if I just say, what do we, what is it we do? You know, we talk a lot about products and that, but quite honestly, where others just see products, we see purpose, okay? Uh, we see families being empowered. We see the uncovering of God-given talents in so many women. We see them uplifting, feeding, embracing communities with hope and knowledge that will turn their lives around for the better. And never, ever in the time that I can ever remember, do women need this embracing of love and hope. As I said, for the last 18 months, we've been thrown a curve ball. Some have coped better than others, but I'm finding the young people are floundering because they don't know where to turn. We're here to help everybody. And, you know, just turn their lives around for the better. And I really do thank the guests for being with us. Um, and I do want the guests to speak to the very special person who invited them on this call. Um, just talk to them. See how you can get involved if you want to, but at least get onto the products. And um, I want to just end here with the lady called Nightbird. And I don't know if any of you know her from a Simon Cowell show. And she sang like a bird. And she's ca fighting cancer right now. And she just is the most, uh, uh, she, she embraces people from the stage just so beautifully. She's a beautiful character, whoever she is. Um, her name is Jane, but they, she goes by the name of Nightbird. It's, and so, as I say, she's fighting cancer. And on social media, I saw her say, well, I heard her say, I will put my pain to purpose I will show up and be as real as I can. I have a choice of becoming bitter or better. Everyone can, but very few do. So I just ask you all to surround yourself with dreamers and doers, the believers and the thinkers. But most of us, most of all, surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even if you don't see it in yourself. Be aware of who you spend your time with. Uplift yourself, uplift others, and we will continue with this Women's Month forever, because every day is Women's Day, and God bless you all. Thank you for being on the call. Thank you, Antoinette, Viv, and... Andre, for sharing your stories. I know it's not easy, but you opened your life up and, and let, us, let us in. Thank you so much. God bless you all.